of February, India named astronauts for Gaganyaan, its first manned space mission. Three of these astronauts will be part of the space flight aboard the GSLV Mark III by 2025 end. The astronauts will wear ground suits designed by NIFT and space suits made in Russia. But which watches will they be wearing? Watches that have conquered extremes have always attracted great curiosity. Watches worn in space are no different. Yuri Gagarin, who kick-started the era of human spaceflight in 1961, obviously wore a Russian watch. Gagarin is believed to have worn a Sturmansky. The US responded in 1962 when John Glenn became the first American to orbit Earth aboard the Friendship 7. Glenn was equipped with a Hoyer stopwatch. The most famous Space Age watch, though, is the Omega Speedmaster Professional. In the 1960s, as NASA accelerated its space program and geared up to land humans on the moon, it invited watch brands for flight certification. Four brands responded, Hamilton, Rolex, Longines, and Omega. The watches were put through extreme tests by NASA. These tests simulated conditions on the moon and in space. A space-qualified watch has to withstand massive fluctuations in temperature and pressure, as well as humidity and gravity. It has to be resistant to high G-forces, extreme shocks and acceleration. Only one watch survived, the Speedmaster. In 1969, Buzz Aldrin wore a Speedmaster when he first set foot on the lunar surface earning it the moniker of the Moon Watch. The Speedmaster remains the only piece of equipment used in all of NASA's piloted space missions, from Gemini to the current International Space Station program. It is also the only watch certified for extravehicular activity. Since then, many watches have been worn in space, from Seiko and Fortis to Zinn, Casio and Rolex. So which watches will an astronaut wear? Will it be a space-qualified watch made by Titan or maybe Bangalore Watch Company? Watch aficionados in India have their own take on the Gaganyaan watch. I think I'd be more focused on the attributes of what the watch is all about rather than uh, what name it bears. If you sort of try and look at it as uh, uh, a patriotic sentiment and if you're going to sort of look at it saying that, okay, we are going to be making the next move uh, uh, after the Chandrayaan and uh, I mean if you if you look at the Indian space uh, economy uh, according to our Prime Minister it's gonna it's gonna increase five folds um, uh, in the next uh, couple of years you know touching approximately 40 billion dollars so what's uh, stopping us from developing our own watch so to speak. When Leibman asked ISRO they told us they are yet to get into that level of detail. While Supadna Mitra CEO, watches and wearables at Titan said working on a space watch would be a very desirable proposition. Which watch do you think our astronauts should be wearing? Let us know in the comments.